That's right. Today is tax day, April 15th. My friend Rhonda in Los Angeles reached out to me yesterday and said that her son, 19-year-old son, is going to come down to Oceanside. It's part of San Diego, North San Diego, to all of you outside of um, my general area. Um, I'm like, okay, he's going to take the train down. Okay, any particular reason? He just wants to come down. Okay, he's exploring. I saw him. We communicated well on the phone. To, you know, it's important for me. Communication. I'm, I'm a little weird about making sure we communicate well. Um, you know, I'm going to be late, which I was. Uh, his his uh, train came early. I mean, all of this kind of stuff. We're, we're communicating. All right, we're back and forth. I know exactly where he is. Where he made name? What's the name of the building? Where you at? Right at this corner. Okay, good. There we go. We're good. Gave him a tour, and in the tour of you know, Oceanside around the harbor, and going through a lot of the you know the well-to-do beach towns in San Diego, I'm giving him a lot of unsolicited advice. I'm sharing stories of my own life. He's opening up about a lot of things in his own life. Young men need mentors. You know, of course, of both genders, but they also need men. Gave him a lot of insights of what I understand about the world and how it works. People and how they work <laughs> or don't or don't work, but even when they don't work, that's a that's a function. That's how it works. We're like this. We're, there's a lot, of, a lot of moving parts in this world, and people are part of that. It's it's extraordinary. You want to teach young people ways in being confident, incite a level of curiosity about knowledge and wisdom and things in this world. Learn another language. Do humanitarian work. A lot of really important things that helps us mature as we get older, which is part of growing. But you want to mature well. There's a lot of greatness in this world that can strike your dopamine, your serotonin, your oxytocin, you know, these receptors and this chemical that gets released when you're in these great moments in your life. And also the parts where you need endorphin, the parts where you need adrenaline and the parts that on the dark side adrenaline can cause. We're, you know, we're conversing about a lot of things. We got him to chat with a bunch of people. We talked to, <laughs> we must have engaged with about two dozen people today. Stopped here, stopped there. Told silly stories. I took him through Solana Beach. I took him to Encinitas, past Swami's Beach. I, we went to La Jolla. We the uh, we went along the uh, the cove there, and oh my gosh, we were doing some selfies, um, kind of giggling. And I wanted him to see how I communicate to the world. I wanted him to see this, and we're talking to people here and there, and. And the seals and the pelicans just stunk. Oh, it was horrible. They just stink. They poop there all day. Not just sleep, they poop. Went to Mount Soledad on the top of the mountain. is isn't a real big mountain. It's just a high section of San Diego where they have a military memorial with a giant cross on there. You can see 360 of San Diego. You can see Tijuana. You can see way up north of San Diego. You can see along uh, the, uh, Dana Point, that area. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Just really a lot of beautiful. And he was there with his camera telling stories. And I'm sure I'm going to hold the camera properly. And uh, about, uh, I don't know, 10 of these guys dressed in colorful Middle Eastern or uh, Central Asian clothing. I uh, were from Afghanistan where we're chatting. There, there's only one guy who spoke English, and so he now we're chatted. And I wanted Keegan to see what it's like to engage with people from different cultures, different societies, especially especially ones you are really uncertain about. So me and the Afghanis were just uh, chatting. I knew a couple of phrases. Uh, 
uh, in Arabic and, and, and we're talking language stuff and they're visiting. And then I said, okay, I want you all to have a safe trip and um, maybe see you again, inshallah, as they say in Arabic, in God's time, which is a, a way of saying, you know, uh, the purse, the mercy and, 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 and the benevolence of God be upon you until another time. You know, when you want something, inshallah. Okay. So, you know, this is how you get to know people. Be curious. You don't have to, the world is different. Everybody's different. We have to find a way of, of getting along. And I wanted Keegan to see this just as well. And so we, um, went down and I showed him as we stopped, you know, along the road and I would just pull over to somebody and say, excuse me, I can ask you a question. Would you happen to know the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? <laughs> They're like, what? I said, yeah, I want to see you later. And the other one, we'll see you after a while. Right? And we're all laughing. And Keegan's watching this. I said, Keegan, you know, I don't like talking. I like engaging. This is what life is like. It's wild. We had a great time. He learned a lot of things. It's important to let young people open up with honesty, without judgment or rebuke. Any of that stuff didn't happen because he's a really good kid. But you have to ask yourself, why we are distancing ourselves from one another. Face-to-face -face conversation is the best. We need more of it. Food, music, discussions, even discussions about history, politics, religion, money, geography, anything. Just engage. That was good. 19-year-old kid today came down on his own and he wanted to explore. <laughs> and boy, did he. <laughs> I think his brain is full. Hanging out with Uncle Bavel. That's right. Enjoy your night. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Enrich your world with things that are simple and that are free. There's plenty of it. See you soon, inshallah.